Hello, welcome to the LeafMap tutorial series. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to get started with uh, LeafMap for interactive mapping and geospatial analysis. I'm also going to show you how to install the packages, uh, how to set up the environment so that you can uh, uh, use Zubita Notebook to create interactive map uh, easily. So first, you can go to the website leafmap.org and then so you'll be seeing this page so this is the documentation website um, that uh, i'm going to develop and uh, we're going to use this a lot through this uh, tutorial series and so you can if you like you can click the upper right corner to go to the github uh, repository so this is basically a uh, an open source uh, python package that you can use to do interactive mapping and geospatial analysis and is kind of a spin off project uh, of the gmap python package if you have been following my tutorial you probably heard about uh, this package and so this one was uh, designed to use uh, google's engine and uh, to make it easier for you to use google's engine cloud computing uh, in a Jupyter environment but not everyone has uh, a google's engine account and uh, google's engine itself is not open source and so if you're uh, working for a company if you want to use uh, the package for commercial purposes then sometimes you might run into the license issue and and that's the reason that i kind of trying to spin off this project and to create a new one the leaf map so this one is fully open source and you can use it for anything and uh, so you 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 won't be able uh, you you can use it to do anything and uh, there will not be a licensing uh, issue and so this is what this one was uh, designed for it was just released a couple of weeks ago so it is still very uh, new and uh, under active uh, development so you can follow my videos and a tutorial uh, youtube and uh, twitter for more updates so in this video uh, i'm just going to show you how to get started uh, what deep map is about and how you can uh, get some resources or if you have any questions uh, how you can get uh, help so once you're on this uh, web page then on here this is basically the main uh, page and lead map is basically uh, two components uh, you can do intact mapping but you can also do geospatial analysis for example using the uh, white box and uh, later in this uh, tutorial series i'm going to show you more and if you click on the left side here right now i already developed uh, 21 notebook uh, examples so I'm going to go through one by one in this tutorial or series. So you each uh, notebook, you're going to have uh, one uh, video. But for the first one here, I'm going to cover the overall, the overview of this package and how you can uh, navigate uh, this package. So on the left side here, you can click, for example, uh, installation. So this shows you how to install. And uh, later, I'm going to show you how to install step by step uh, so that you can get started. Um, so you can also click how to get started. So these are some of the very common uh code snippet that you might want to use even to uh, create some interactive map but once you get used to it uh, it's very easy so just a couple of lines of code then you can create uh, nice uh, looking maps this one is the tutorial uh, the list of all the tutorials so if you come to this page you should be able to see all the noble examples so 21 right uh, it will navigate to you to here it's the same so you can come here you can click any link uh, you will navigate here for example the first one and if i go back uh, click the second one uh, you should be able to see here as you can see from notebook here uh, this is uh, the example um, will deploy using uh, github actions so here we're using basically still interactive you can zoom in you can zoom out uh, you can also draw uh, any shapes on the map if you like you can also do the measure so this is still uh, interactive so you can explore uh, what the map is about and I'm going to show you uh, shortly and next one here uh, you can also click the API reference so this is uh, all the API uh, all the functions available in this package so if you want for example you can click the leaf uh, module right so on the right side here you see all the function if you click any function so for example click this one you should be able to see the function and also the definition and so you can see all the parameters uh, what kind of parameters also you can see the source code because the package um, is open source for any function if you want to learn the source code behind you can just click here then you should be able to see what the function is about how how it was implemented so if you want to learn more you, you are welcome to look at the, uh, the source code 
you can also go directly uh, click here upper right corner to go to the github repository uh, you should also be able to see all the source code here within the leaf map uh, directory and similarly you can just click uh, here but this one uh, might be too overwhelming so you probably want to just look at a specific function you can do that and the other one for example the osm open street map uh, module right it gives you a lot of function for you to easily download data from open stream and convert data to uh, geojson or setby or, or other data format right so uh, i will only show you uh, later in in the other video but for now you can just, uh, navigate through and see if you find anything that you are interested in also you can just uh, use the search bar so this one you can search any function uh, i can just for example add to SSP, right? So you can add a swap by to the map and then you just click the search results. Uh, similarly, you should be able to see all the function definition. You can see the description and get the help. Again, you can click here to look at the description and also the source code. Uh, so yeah, but sometimes um, one function might call the other function. So you might need to look into uh, more, but uh, this is all about open source. So you're welcome to uh, look at the code and adapt the code if you like and next the last one here is the notebook so um, we're going to go through here one by one and also if you are using this uh, package if you run into any issues if you have any question you're welcome to here uh, report issues and it will take you to here to the github uh, repository so you be under the issues if there's a bug or if you have a feature request then you can just submit here if you have a general question you can click the discussion so on the discussion here then from here you can also just ask any question you like in here uh, so you can uh, click the new uh, you might want to go to the issues and then from here new issue oh uh, because i haven't signed uh signed in yet uh, but if you click the new issue and you will show you about uh, a couple options that whether it's a bug or you want to have a feature request or if you have a general uh, uh, question so you can just uh, if you want to ask questions then you will come to this page to uh, ask questions okay so let's go back to the uh, divmap.org and the so next i'm going to show you how to install the package uh, you can go to the installation tab and then from here uh, if you're familiar with jupyter or uh, anaconda then you probably uh, you can use this one easily but uh, i want to let you know that because the package has a uh, has an optional dependency geo pandas and this one sometimes is quite challenging to install on some uh, computers especially windows uh, operating system so and i'm going to show you here step by step how to get this one installed properly on your computer so you can use that and uh, make sure that you follow my step uh, step by step if you are an uh, advanced user that you already know how to install, you can just skip, you can just use pip or uh, use conda. So either way is fine. But um, this video is for beginners, uh, especially those without um, background in using Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, you need to install uh, an conda or mini conda on your computer. You can just click the link. I recommend if you haven't installed either of these, I recommend just using mini conda. This is much smaller. Anaconda is a little bit too big uh, just uh, for leaf map. So, and once you're here, you can click, uh, for example, uh, depends on your operating system. Uh, I'm on Windows and you can just click here to download this one to your computer. Uh, recommend that you use a 64 bit. And so you can just click this one and then download to your computer. Then you just follow the instruction to install Miniconda to your computer once it, uh, it's installed successfully then if you go to your start menu you should be able to see this item uh, anaconda so anaconda 3 or anaconda uh, prompt and you can just click then it should open this one so this is basically uh, where you can create conda environment and how you can install the packages if you're not familiar with anaconda basically you can just think about just like a virtual environment uh, let's assume that you have a house so within your house you might have different uh, you have living room you have bathroom for different purposes so this is just basically under the same computer you can have multiple environment although here we use uh, python 3.9 but you can install python 3.8 or 2.7 uh, basically just like a virtual space that you can use for some purposes after your time with that 
environment you can just destroy you can delete the environment it won't affect your house so basically you can repurpose uh, the environment and once you install then you can for example use anaconda prompt and you, once you open then we can just conda you can if you if you already have some environment created before you can use conda em list it will show you all the environment that you have created before but in this video we're going to create a new one um so let's open here you are welcome to just copy line by line uh from here so Control c and then come back to the anaconda prompt and you just right click here it's automatically paste the uh, the uh, command and then you just hit enter so keep that in mind because we're using geo and i would recommend you use python 3.8 if you use the latest one uh, 3.9 you might not be able to install GeoPandas uh, using this command because uh, some of the dependencies are right now only available for 3.8. So anyway, so once you uh, paste this one, you can either type Y and then just hit enter. So it's only take a couple of seconds to download all the packages. And then you can, you can go to the second step or I can just type conda activate uh, AC PIBAT Geo. So Geo is the environment they're going to use. So basically, it's the name of the room that we're going to do something uh, with. And once, right now, we get into the uh, Geo uh, environment, then we can start installing packages. So the next one we're going to install is basically Geo Pandas. Uh, highly recommend that you install this one first. If you install other packages and then later install Geo Pandas, you might not be able to install because some dependency uh conflict and it, it's a pain so i highly recommend that you just uh, follow my instruction here just conda install and then geo pandas also don't use the conda force um because uh, on windows i think there's a bug over there so if you use the conda yeah, force yeah later when you import the geo pandas you might have some error so you just use this one uh directly from the anaconda uh, channel so geo pandas hit enter and this might take a couple of seconds sometimes it depends on your internet speed and also a computer sometimes it might take a couple of minutes to resolve all the dependencies because GeoPanda is built on top of many other packages okay so it's pretty quick then just type Y hit enter so it's going to download all the packages because I have installed this one before and it gives some of the uh, packages that uh, cache on my computer so it's must much faster but uh you might see this installing all kind of packages and once it's done then we can move into the uh, next uh, step as you can see here the next one we're going to install is called mamba so mamba is actually kind of a job in replacement for conda because if you're trying to install some complete uh, package that uh, has many dependencies sometimes conda might take a long time to resolve the dependencies and uh it might take a couple minutes sometimes it's like 10 or 15 minutes uh, i i had it before so it might be very uh frustrating so i highly recommend that you also install the mamba uh, so they later when we install other packages we can use mamba it's much much faster so all we need to do uh if you don't like typing just copy this one Control c come back to here right click oh let's see here Copy this one again, Control C, and then come here, right click, and hit enter. So it should also take a couple of seconds to resolve all the dependencies. Then uh, we can install uh, Mamba. And so later, when we're trying to install any packages anywhere you use Conda, you just replace Conda with Mamba. That's it. And it will be much easier uh, because the, the, uh, the time it takes to resolve the dependency is actually much, much faster. So as you can see right now we're using conda to install the mamba package and it's solving the environment uh it takes a while um i'm not sure how long it's going to take okay so hopefully not too long then we can move forward to the uh, next uh, step okay so it take a couple of minutes then uh once it uh finish resolving the dependencies just type y and it should be able to install all the packages and the last one here the last step that we're going to do is to install the leaf map and also the x array leaflet so this one is used to uh, add local raster data set to the map so also highly recommend you just follow my instruction uh, copy this one and come back here right click hit enter 
uh, as you can see right now i'm using the mamba to install so this one uh suspect uh, is supposed to be much much faster but um we the first time we were uh, um, using it uh, it might take a, a couple minutes because it's going to download all the packages uh, metadata so as you can see here uh, from the the process how many packages were found uh, in each channel so once it's resolved then we should be able to install the leaflet and uh, x array uh, leaflet okay so then just tap y hit enter so it's going to install all the packages so once it's done then we can uh, use the uh, leaf map uh, on your local computer by the way so if you don't want to go through the step to install things on your computer you're also welcome to try out using uh, google collab so if you go to the home page they have a couple of buttons in here so the first one is open uh, in google collab you can just click uh, it should take you to uh, google collab and if you already sign in uh, you, you probably need to sign in once you sign in you can just control uh, slash uh, you need to install the package and then you can just run through here to create interactive map right so this one you need to have a google account in order to use that but you can also click here use a, a binder so the binder is also another uh, cloud instance that you can use uh, this one you don't need to have any account but the downside of using a binder is that sometimes it might take a while to load up okay it's pretty quick so uh, that's good and you can click just here for example the first uh, example uh, leave lab uh, intro and so first you need to basically control slash to execute this call so once you control slash you can just hit this one run and it's going to install the leaf map uh, package within the uh, binder so if you see that's pretty quick then so you can just import leaf map and you can just keep one through right so you, now you can create a map pretty nice right you don't need to do anything just click the link and then you uh uncommon the first line to install the package then you can create uh, the interactive map you can also for example change the center uh also change the zoom level so you can just click one you can also use a uh, shift enter or control enter on your keyboard so if you hit uh, shift enter it's going to execute the line and then move to the second uh call block okay so you can continue to run through so this is pretty uh simple example and so the next one I'm, is i'm going to show you how to use uh anaconda so i recommend that you try your local computer because um you can do a lot more things easily the especially something that requires an api key uh that it's better to do that on your computer rather than using um, a binder okay so let's get back and this one right now has been successfully installed and what we can do is right now we can use conda list to check all the packages that have been installed uh, on your computer so this is the environment as you can see it's quite a number of packages and what you need to do is to find out whether you see this package or not so you'll be leap map right leap map, uh, leap map point three point all right so this is the latest version of the package and once we uh, install the package now we can just use a uh, jupyter notebook so what we need to do is to open jupyter notebook and uh, let me show you in here let me just close this one and i can show you so every time when you're trying to do the coding trying to use uh, anaconda you just come here and then click anaconda prompt so all we need to do is just to conda activate uh, geo right so this is the conda environment that we use and then just type jupyter notebook and hit enter so it's going to open jupyter notebook on your browser and then we can start creating jupyter notebook so you can go to any fault directory you want i can just maybe simply go to my downloads directory and you only need to just create a new uh new and then python 3 so from here then this is the new environment we just created then we can simply just import leap map okay so this is the the leap map uh, package so you need to install this one and then you can just create a map right so m lowercase equal to leap map dot map okay so uppercase map and then just type m it's going to display the map right so simple and easy and then, so these are all the default buttons uh, you can click the upper right corner here where well, this is developed using ipy leaflet 
it's going to make your life much easier because uh, if, if you don't uh, like doing coding then you can use the interface but uh, everything here can be done also using a uh, command line or uh, using script but um, I'm going to show you more later in this uh, tutorial series but for now you can just simply uh, click this one also I want to show you that uh, if you don't for some example might be quite um, uh, complicated so if, if you don't want to type uh, the source code line by line you can come here and then just click here uh, download icon and you can download this one to your computer so for example I'm going to download this one to my downloads folder and this once it's there you can come back to here you should be able to see the notebook uh, within uh, your directory and similarly so here um, you can just run through the source code keep in mind since we already installed and we don't need to install this one again this line is only needed when you're using Google Collab or uh, Binder um, so once you uh, open the novel then similarly you can just uh, shift enter uh, to import the library and then we create an interactive map by default if you don't provide any parameters it's going to be centered around the United States and also the zoom level is 4 but you are welcome to change the, uh, the center so you um, keep in mind so this latitude and longitude so you can center anywhere if this are uh, positive and positive so this is going to be uh, at another location for example here uh, in Europe right so you can click here you can change the zoom level if you, if you want so the smaller the number um, the uh, the smaller the scale so basically uh, the more like zoom out so if I change to for example just one and then shift enter it's just going to show you the uh, global scale if you change to a larger one for example maybe 10 it's going to be uh, much much uh, zoom in to a certain location right so you can zoom in you can zoom out this is like a uh, parameter you can customize so depends on if you want your default map to be shown at a certain location and a certain uh, zoom level then you can just customize the parameters uh, here and you can also customize the control right so by default it's going to show you all these uh, controls but if you think it's too crowded you can certainly uh, customize to remove some of those if you don't for example if you don't like any controls there's a, a function um, that you can use it will be m dot uh, clear uh, controls so clear controls parentheses and then shift enter you see everything is gone right so right now you only have the map you have no control but if you want a specific one to be there and you want some of those to be removed you can use uh, for example the zero control major control full screen control attribution control and i can just show you here Shift enter right so now you only have this one the dual control is gone the major uh, control is also gone no full screen but we added the attribution control here and this is this one is two bar control so if you don't like this one you can also change this one to force you can just type comma and then two bar control equal to force and then shift enter again right so you this one is gone this one is called zoom control so if you don't need it you also welcome to zoom control equal to force all right so this is pretty much similar to the clear control uh, the clear control that you clear everything right if you just want the uh the zoom control you can change to two shift enter then you should be able to have this one so everything is fully customizable you can you're welcome to customize to the way that you are uh, that you want and the next one here i'm going to show you is sometimes you might want to customize the height and the width so you can you know, you can pass in the argument uh, how many pixels right so if i just shift this one uh the width is 800 and the height right now changed to a much smaller one so by default i think it's about 600 so you can change this one to a larger one and then shift enter right if you don't provide anything uh, by default it's going to be a uh, full width of the notebook and also about 600 pixels and you have all the default control in here that you can utilize you can also change the base map for example click this one then you should be able to change the uh, the base map i'm going to show you here in the next video how to uh, use this how to add a uh, base map but 
Uh, okay, so that's all for this uh, video, and I hope you uh, find it useful, and you can hope you also uh, successfully set up uh, the contact environment so they can, can follow me uh, through this uh, interactive uh, mapping uh, journey. Okay, so uh, that's all for this uh, video, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.